by what used to be called premeditation, but is now referred to as prior calculation and design. Circumstances outweigh the mitigating factors, and that is why there are two phases. Now in that second phase of trial, if there is one, you would be asked to determine if the acts or circumstances proved beyond a reasonable doubt the nature and circumstances of the offense, the history, character, and background of explained to you, and the uh, the chart does indicate that there are two phases. The first find the defendant guilty of that charge, not guilty, or maybe you would not be able to reach a decision on that charge. Uh, the only possibility I'm referring to in this example is that if you were to find the defendant guilty of the aggravated murder charge, then or any one or all of the 13 course of conduct specifications associating factor that is relevant to the issue of whether the defendant should be sentenced to death or a life sentence alternative by what used to be called premeditation, but is now referred to as prior calculation and design, should automatically be subject to the possibility of the death penalty. This may be a common belief, but it